Now here's something that's really cool and doesn't happen every day. Members of the Science Club from the Academy at Shawnee had a chance to talk to an astronaut currently living on the International Space Station. The conversation took place over an intricate hookup of telephone lines, ham radios, and NASA. And we are the Shawnee Science Club. Today we're using amateur radio to speak with the space station. Hi, I'm Dan Burbank, commander of the Expedition 30 crew aboard the International Space Station. How long does it take to regain all your physical ability when you come back to Earth? Over. Air receptor, a shuttle mission, in my experience, it takes me about five days of uh, exercise and rehabilitation, we call it, before I can run as fast or lift as much as I did before the mission. We got to talk with the International Space Station astronauts and we got to ask them questions about their diet and what they do on a daily basis. We were able to uh, uh, coordinate with several amateur radio operators in the United States and our contact was, was facilitated by a telephone uh, connection to an amateur radio operator in Belgium who functioned as the intermediary to communicate with the space station as it went over his location in Belgium. Being a part of this science club, an area and artist club, helps me as a student because it keeps my mindset straight. And I like to like learn about the astronauts and what they get to do because I always was I was interested in doing aerospace so I thought learning more about it would be more interesting. How far from the ISS can you go? How long will a typical EVA last and what are the rescue procedures for EVA over? Yeah, sure. Well, we have a crew of six as we do right now. We're, we're not going to send any more out outside than two, but we're not going to send any less than two. We have a buddy system for spacewalks, so two people is what we'll send. It's, all, it's been like everybody's a dream all the time to go up in space and everything. I think it'd be pretty cool up there. If, uh, just the field zero gravity and all that. We hope that they start to begin to think like a scientist and that they see the, the career opportunities that is available to them. Uh, this experience was once in a lifetime. I mean, it's, it's really rare for this to happen for a bunch of students like us. What is a typical day like on the ISS and how much control do you have, do you have over your own schedule? Bradley, a typical day on ISS is atypical, I guess I would say. There's not very many typical days, lots of variety. Uh, and in two days, we're getting ready to go uh, to have a couple of people go out and do a spacewalk. Um, a week or so ago, we received a cargo vehicle on board Space Station. We all day, every day, have very science experiments going on on board Space Station. Oh, I love space because, I mean, there's so much that you can learn about. And once you're actually up in space and you get to experience that whole different environment, it's just really life-changing as far as I've been told. And so we got right about 10 minutes of time uh, uh, to speak uh, um, um, with the astronauts. I mean, I think it's one of the coolest things I've ever done as a teacher. And I know the kids were very engaged. And they said this is one of the coolest things I've ever done. And um, it really engages them in science. Um, it's nice to see the, the girls that showed up and engaging women in science and African Americans in science. But that's the true significance of what we've done today is to, to stimulate, hopefully, an interest in science, technology, engineering, and math. Oh, that it was amazing and I love talking to astronauts and it was really cool. <laughs>